Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Today, we are in Sepulpa, Oklahoma with my good friend Michael Jones. Now, I met Michael, when were you up? We five, were up six years five, ago? Five, six years ago. He came up to the yard and he bought the super cool Dodge milk truck that I had. Um, really, and a really cool story behind the milk truck. Actually, a, a metal guy found it and he called me and said, man, I can't crush this thing. You've got to come buy it. So I went and bought it. Michael seen an ad I had on it. And he come up and got the milk truck. This was, what year is it? 54, 55? 54 Dodge. 54 Dodge. Brings the milk truck back to Oklahoma. And uh, now you drive it everywhere. Where did you, you took the body. We, we took the body. We set it on a 2004 Dodge Ram 1500 uh, chassis. And the motor, so it's got the 5.7 Hemi in it. And for its debut drive, we took it to Route 66 in California, all the way from Oklahoma to California and back. You drove all the way to California. All the way. Now you told me something cool you did while you're in California with the milk truck. Oh. And now this is remember, this isn't painted. It's not restored. It is completely the way it came out of the trees it is. from the outside. Weathered, patinaed, old lettering on the side. What did you do when you got to California with it? We got to California. We drove it onto the Santa Monica Pier. We drove it. Uh, through Rodeo Drive. You went right, right down Rodeo Drive? We went right down to Rodeo and Drive. And a ratty 54 Dodge milk truck. Yes, we did. <laughs> we had my son's 49 Chevy pickup and my other son's 64 Mercury Comet. We were the hit of Rodeo Drive. <laughs> we took pictures of people taking pictures of us. As you drove past Ferraris and Rolls Royces. And, and they were there. <laughs> and, and we drew more attention than they did. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> so, and that sounds like a blast, but that's not why we're here today. Obviously, that's how I met Michael, and he did such an awesome job of that truck. We've stayed in touch, we've stayed in contact, seen him some swap meets over the years. We were coming through Oklahoma, and I knew he was working on this building. So I thought, well, I'm going to see if I can get a hold of him. It was kind of a last minute idea to cut through this part of the state. Got a hold of him, stopped to see what he's got going on, and it is absolutely amazing. You can see behind us some of the stuff he's working on. And the building that we're standing in was built late 1800s. Yes, probably around 1893 is when they can date the building back to. And then after the turn of the century, it became a Ford dealership manufacturing assembly. It did, it became the Sepulpa Motor Company and it, uh, they assembled and had a dealer showroom here for Model T's. And so basically what we have from the museum is in 1918 or 1718 era, I don't know how many years it went, but it was a full fledged working dealership and assembly plan. So you're restoring this building and you have a company called Gasoline Island Classics where you do a lot of man cave stuff, right. signs, t-shirts, oil cans, all kinds of cool stuff like that. And this is gonna be your showroom. This is the showroom. Which is a pretty epic <laughs> design for a showroom. Yes, it is. So, it's, it's a major undertaking. As you can see, I mean, we've, we're still on the wood floors yep. that you've done. And we can see right there, you've done some awesome graphics on the floor. And, uh, as we, we're going to shoot a couple of videos today, so we'll show you a couple other cool things you did on the floor there. We've got an awesome shield on the right of the floor, Route 66. We've got some epic stuff behind us here that you've done. So, I mean, just tell us about a couple of things that you've got, that you've done. Just remember, we're in one corner of this entire building, and we're going to look at some of the epic stuff that they've already done. And they're not even open yet. No. This no. is still a work in progress. It's still a work in progress. We're, 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 we're trying to get open as quick as we can. Basically, we've just taken this old building, and we've just... It's like an onion. We just pulled the layers off of the onion. And so as we've been able to do things, we've been able to see what the character is of this building and just kind of bring it back to a new life. So paying respect to the Model T industry, I happened to find a, an old Model T body from my buddy, uh, Chad is another name. <laughs> and he helped me do the uh, post office chop, we call it, and uh, get it slammed down. And so we've got the old Model T with the flamethrower bulbs in it that we actually did that with the, my electrician. We've just found a lot of, I've, I've been sitting on this, what I like to call the cool rusty gold uh, of the patina and all the decor pieces that I've had. I've never had a place to really put it up, so now I actually have the opportunity to do so. Uh, again, I have a logo called Fat Boy Speed Shop, and, uh, and I also have a logo called In Rush We Trust. But I make a lot of garage and man cave decor pieces. And one of the things I can show you that I've got is uh, do these bottle cap neons. They light up, but we make all kinds of things. This is just one showing of what we've even got. So, I mean, uh, I do oil cans, I do lights. I mean, backlit lights as you're seeing behind me here. It, there's a multitude of things. You're just seeing a, a, a tidbit of it right now. And for, for what you've done, even with just the model T and things like that, you can do a lot of custom work too. 
we can do a lot of custom work. I do a lot of custom stuff for a lot of others as well. I do vinyl, I, I have a sign business as well. So as you saw on the floor, I do the vinyl graphics and the stenciling and stuff. So this is just kind of a taste of what you can kind of see and ask. Well, it's really cool. We're really excited about it. Like I said, we're gonna do a couple more videos while we're here. So we're gonna kind of, we'll bring you a few more as the, as the weeks progress. There's just so much cool stuff here that we can't really cram it all into one. But like I said, Michael's a good friend of mine. Love what he's doing. Know all you guys are here because you like this stuff as well. And it's such an awesome place. We couldn't not show it to you. So as you can see right now, we're here. We've still got paper on the windows. So this is still a work in progress, but we're getting close. You're okay. going to be, thanks for coming by. You're going to be here hopefully, this. hopefully within the next few months, things are going to be opening up. We're going to have a whole display room, yep. our display showroom of the stuff you make, be open for retail business. You do online ordering, right. website, Facebook. You've got all that stuff out there. Yep. So it's super exciting. The place is absolutely amazing. I had no idea when I walked in how awesome this place was going to be. Michael told me about it. I'd heard about it. He showed me pictures of it with from when were those pictures shot out from when it was a Ford dealer? Oh, that was an 18, 1918. 1918 was, was 1918. That picture was shot. Right. So, and uh, we're just off the corner of Route 66 right here. So we're going really to walk to Route 66. Yes. And <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to be in high traffic for all the uh, international Route 66 travelers as well. So super excited about that. Stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you some more video here in the near future. So much cool stuff in here. We're going to shoot some more of it so you can really get an idea of how awesome this place is. If you're ever through Sepulpa, Oklahoma, like I said, going to be open very shortly. So be sure to stop by, check this stuff out, check him out online, and uh, see what all I've got going on. So, Michael, thanks for letting us stop by. Appreciate it very much, Chad. We'll see you all soon. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. If you're on Facebook, please share the video with your friends and uh, have them come check it out. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Check out all my other old car videos. That's all we do on here, cars, trucks, automobilia, tons of cool automobilia in this place. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon on the next video and see you all later.